<laughs> oh, also, also, there is a video on YouTube that just got uploaded yesterday, I believe, of um, me, Machine, Pedra, and Anna Prosser, aka Uncontrollable, but I think she's just changing to Anna Prosser now completely, um, going to a Dead Mouse concert. And we had a good time, so um, check that out on YouTube. EG have a new like YouTube channel in general, so we're going to be uploading videos there very, very, very frequently. So um, you should check all those out. There's a little, uh, there's a little nice one between me and Puma, where uh, I in or Anna interviews him and I translate for him. And there's another one where we're kind of tired at the airport. We both lay down. I'm really tired, and I look at him and I say something like. Puma, why so handsome? And then he just like strokes my face or something. And says, "No, you handsome." And it's uh, <laughs> it looks incredibly uh, weaselish, but it's very fun. So yeah, check out the EG YouTube channel. There's lots of funny things to see on there, and uh, we've just done some funny things yesterday, which I'm kind of paying for this morning. Um, I eat eating uh, habanero pepper. That was hot. So uh, check everything out. Besides that, we're going to put in this turn called Big D. Oh. Some kooks. So yeah, just going to do the standard build order again that I've been doing in TVT. Like about 15 and a half, I get the uh, refinery. Look inside, I know she knows. True or false, it may be. Oh, wait, I don't want to scout. Shit, I got wrapped in the song. FML. Fond of Uskin. It may be. Okay, so, Big D, he hasn't scouted me yet, so I'm going to assume he's doing the same build as I. Big assumption to make, given that not many people do this build, because it's very boring. Or when I say boring, it's just very, very passive, which a lot of players just don't happen to be. So, I'm going to assume he's going for a macro style, in which case, I'm going to go for a macro style too. But also, I'm gonna, I can play kind of risky now. Now that I'm assuming he's doing one thing and not playing, I'm not going to play scared. That's one of the big things that people do. They play scared, and when they play scared, they play scared of absolutely everything. Which that's a big mistake. You shouldn't play scared of everything. You should play. Your, you start playing scared of everything. You start making turrets and all this crap because oh my god, what if you did this? It doesn't matter about what if. It's about what he actually did. So people just need to start realizing that. Pop down here. Okay, that guy. I don't know what he planned to do with him, but he did absolutely nothing. If there was Captain Useless in the game, that would be Captain Useless. So everything's going perfectly well, perfectly swimming. I've got good defense, it looks like. And even though I said don't play scared, I'm gonna play a little scared. He just sacrificed an SMB for nothing. This implies that this guy's a maverick. Have you ever seen Top Gun? This guy's Tom Cruise. I'm freaking Iceman right now. Playing solid. Can't be broken. But I can only be broken by somebody like Maverick. So this bunker could be a good idea. In any case, it's not a bad idea to get. I mean, if you ran up my ramp with Blue Flame Hellions, and I, I'd have been crying quite a lot. So, I'm happy with getting it. Like, it's put me a bit behind, like, getting a Hellion here and stuff, but in general... Oh, a Banshee. Okay, okay. This guy is the Maverick. Oh my god. So, this is actually pretty good for me. about microing, getting him when he doesn't predict you to go. Okay, he's gonna die. 
I'm gonna guess he is going cloak. In which case, that's a terrible start for him. Terrible. Abysmal. You never want to lose a banshee for nothing. And I think I know he's over here now too. So, you know, I think he gave everything away. Oh, let's see. So he has got a little squadron, you know. Maybe, maybe he isn't. What's it called? Going cloak banshee. But in any case, it's not a bad idea to get them. Because an engineering bane two turrets that are going to cover me later game if he does get them too. Worth, uh, it's definitely worth investing. Like each scan would have been two assembly minerals. I'm, I may not necessarily get him in a scan. So think about it like that. Also, the fact that he did go Banshee means I know so I can't talk and type, or bleh, I can't think and do at the same time. But yeah, the fact that I know he went Banshee now means his exo is actually going to be slower. So macro-wise, he's actually behind. So I'm quite happy with how this game's like presenting itself, you know? And because I'm pretty happy with how it's presenting itself, I can I can invest in certain things that are just safety precautions. And also get a risky third. Bam, bitch, die. So Oh look. That's really annoying. Wow. What an annoying guy. The turret came in handy though. Did you see that? So, as far as the drop harass goes, I don't think that went too terribly for me. I've seen them go much worse, so yeah, I'm pretty fine with that. See, I'm gonna make a banshee too. I, on hindsight, I probably should have had my um, I probably should have my Vikings over here. So that's one thing I'm gonna pick up from this game. Just say like, okay, this is my day for next time. Send one heli up. Cause if you lose one, doesn't matter. So he's got a high tank count. That's where I'm a little bit worried. I'm not sure how much damage he exactly did. Mm. Yeah, he's actually got quite a bit. Bam, bitch. So, I'm gonna play a little careful now. So yeah, not sure what he's capable of right now, but I'm not gonna run out. I know that if I just wait, this ban I'm gonna get air control. And the only way you can kill late this like banshee is with fours or marines, which my tanks will counter that quite quite efficiently. So he's scanned. And I'm sending Jimmy over there. Put this expo over there now. So it looks pretty safe, I guess. I'm gonna see him safe. Check that these aren't broken. Okay, that's good. I'm running there, if I please. Ooh, stressful, isn't it? So yeah, I'm not sure where his army is. I just saw one Hellion. Oh, here it is. Hello. Oh, he has got balls. Little bugger. Well 
Fortunately, I think I'm pretty okay. Not sure where he is. As in, I'm not sure like where he is in the game right now. What supply does he have? No idea. Totally lost. Totally lost my read on him now. So this is just turning into a macro game, which is nice. Play my game. I don't like balls that much. They're good, but I don't like them that much. I prefer the other things that Mech has to offer. I think Supreme Range and Insane Damage. Although Fall does offer that too. It's not the same. It's not the same. So yeah, I'm being a little cheeky. I'm going to scan the middle. He's put turrets everywhere, what the hell? Oh. BAM! Oh, he had a turret there, wow. So he stopped my drop. And also he's pressuring me, and he's got turrets across the middle of the map. This guy's nuts. Mad nuts. But he doesn't seem too bad at all. So that drop was what I was planning on getting me into this. But given that it died, I'm a bit worried. And he has got fours. Get that there. I'm gonna start. I think I'm just gonna stick with tanks, but not really totally sure. I can put those there. Oh. How much has he got here? Oh wow, he's got a lot. Now he's getting a bit panicky. I don't know why either. I feel like he's got map control. But I feel like I can reclaim that back. So I guess that's why he's getting a bit panicky. Look how much he's got, Jesus Christ. Be a mistake for him, like a huge That's why I don't like Paul. Although his army looked like really stocky and chunky, it's not at all, it's bad. I've got SUEs. Follow them over there. 